and welcome to this episode of Bleak Burn. And we have come to the Boström family. <laughs> Sorry, that's in Swedish. I was playing in Swedish, so everybody has Swedish names. You will have to deal with it. <laughs> anyway, so this is the home of Katarina and Niklas. And they got just got married. Uh, because Niklas was very in love with Katarina and she uh, was okay with it. <laughs> so these two are uh, planning to have a happily ever after. And they live in this weirdly shaped house that I built because and <laughs> with this def gravity defying part here. <laughs> with Chanel. Oh, she finally wants a job. Uh, she wants to become a world-class ballet dancer, but now she uh, she wants to get other jobs. So I think we should like get her one. And she is okay. First, first of all, introductions. Here's Mindy. <laughs> See, she's the youngest. She is 18 years old. She wants to go to college. She will have to wait. Um, until she's 19 I've decided <laughs> so um, Sims will get go to college when they have the want when they're uh, 19 or older uh, they age up at 21 so if they didn't want roll the want to get go to college by then they become adults uh, and the 21 I've heard that is the limit for drinking in some countries so that's why I said that there I myself went went to college when I was 20 so I think that will be a good span for it uh, but I will allow them to go early if they want to I think or we will just wait until t she's 20 I but she, she will not be going today <laughs> So I'll decide later. Her parents is Amy and Zacharias and uh, yeah they were married at the time but uh, Amy remarried the professor from last episode and she was growing up with uh, her big sisters the twins Chanel and Jackie and also Gandalf from like Amy kind of got stuck with him <laughs> but she loved him so <laughs> he got some money when she died because yeah we'll get into that later so uh, but but then uh, Mindy and the the twins got taken away because they didn't do their homeworks uh, Chanel and Jackie like they neglected their homework so they were all taken away and so Nicholas is actually their foster parent over here but Chanel still still lives at home because she hasn't had a decide to move out I think they will get the desire to move out and she also didn't go to college um, because she she has a, had a hard time figuring out like what she wants she doesn't have a, um, a true hobby she, uh, she has, hasn't figured that out and I'm not gonna go looking for it uh, because some people just never get a hobby <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> anyway, so like if it happens, it happens. Now, her dad is actually um, Jacke Sederlund, <laughs> the infallible good warlock um, that married my initial sim that started this whole neighborhood. But she died because uh, hunger when you're pregnant. <laughs> so she only had one child. Uh, this is Gandalf here. So this is the one I started with. She married Jacke. Uh, and when she died, he were like, uh, I'm gonna die in a few years, so I better remarry so that Gandalf doesn't get totally orphaned. Uh, so he married Amy that had these twins. Um, same day he died, actually. <laughs> so he didn't, Jacke never got to, to see the twins, but he, he's, he's their father all the same. <laughs> and they, they, they grew up okay, I, I guess. Anyway, so I started in this lot, but at the time where when uh, everybody was taken away, they were living uh, in a, another house somewhere. They were living over here in this big house. Uh, but Amy got so depressed. Why is part of the front missing? <laughs> oh well, this is the house. <laughs> and uh, she got so depressed when she didn't have kids anymore. They bought this house because they had a lot of kids. Uh, they had four children to take care of, but so they moved over here. 
<laughs> I wish they could still see it. Well, uh, oh well, didn't look that way. So here we are. Everybody is very happy because there was just a wedding and they have been fulfilling their wants and everything. Uh, so let's try and find a job for Chanel and like preferably she would want a dance career. Oh, the cat is making... What is the cat doing? Don't do that. Oh, he is busy. He can't do that. Okay, a skull for destroying the furniture. And this house is horrible also. Like, uh, maybe if I add another stairs there, we could... <laughs> Like, I was having a lot of fun building it, but it's not functional, like, at all. Uh, now maybe they can move around a little bit better. Ah, oh, I forgot what she wanted to do. Uh, but I don't think she wanted to be a journalist. Oh, it says right here. <laughs> all right, good. Uh, she did, uh, she actually did. Okay, so if, if there's not a dance career in the newspaper. Oh, she got money as well. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of money. Oh, and she got an inheritance uh, from who died? Well, we can actually check from Amy. All right, yeah, so did Amy just die in this household? Did I not play them since Amy died? I think so, but it was so long I played them, so <laughs> that seems kind of weird. But all right, we don't need that anymore. Yeah, okay, so we're only looking for a dance career now. I should lock that in. Architecture. Okay, let's do that again and do go into journalism. They're gonna get busy over there. <laughs> journalism, take job. Congratulations, Chanel. You're no longer unemployed. She is 22 years old and... Uh, she only now got a job, maybe. Now she get paid 115. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this <laughs> in my impossibly complicated uh, spreadsheets that I'm not gonna go into right now. But you know, we, we, um, we have this here. There, I haven't added their bills yet. So <laughs> uh, before bills, they have a result of uh, 3000 each week. So the bills are probably going to destroy that. Uh, and I have a tax system that we won't go into right now. That will happen on Monday. So they have a couple of days until then. But maybe the bills will be... Oh, I love this sim. I should, I should move her into a house. Um, because I think she's so... I think she's so pretty. Like, um... I love her. <laughs> I see her walking by. Like, let's do that now. I'm just doing this. Uh, n no one will have a memory of this. She's an aerobics instructor. That's interesting. And she will find a newspaper real quick. Let's move that closer to her. And she'll just find on place. So she could be a playable sim. <laughs> I keep adding sims. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have where are you going all right well see she doesn't have a memory of her moving in and I don't think she knows no she doesn't know r the rest of the family so it's fine I usually do this um, sometimes they wave her off but that's fine okay who's calling now oh they're having a little smoochy smooch hey Chanel is Nicholas available to talk well uh, actually not right now <laughs> he's not available they're getting busy so he's busy um normally i would be able to put everyone to bed but okay she, what she does she want she wants to reach border level one uh she doesn't need anything for her job oh she has 16 no the family has 16 friends combined that's a lot of friends. Oh my goodness. I mean, for being a knowledge sim, Chanel has really been socializing. Well, it makes sense because if we look at her personality here, Chanel is very outgoing. So she, um, yeah, she, she gets about. There, I also mark their signs here because it, especially for Mindy, um, yeah, and also for all of them, because I have this room that they don't get a secondary aspiration. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I will give him the super fertility. Unless he, he has a lifetime want for... Marry of six children. Ooh. Should I give it to him? Oh, okay. He, he, he can have that. 
<laughs> I mean, he is getting get kind of old. Um, he is 42 years old. So I've decided I don't give them a secondary aspiration until they have unlocked at least eight of these. Uh, possibly more. I haven't decided yet. But when I do, uh, since I randomize the aspiration the first time uh, when they age up to, to teenagers, I think I need to do, I need to keep doing that. <laughs> Uh, but then for secondary aspiration, there's a way, there's this list on, that exists on the internet where uh, your zodiac sign here can decide your aspiration. So I'm gonna use that for the secondary aspiration unless they go to college uh, and have the opportunity to change aspiration, in which case I will use the sign at that point. Uh, because, you know, in college you find yourself or something like that. <laughs> and then when they get a second, a, a second aspiration, I will use the second aspiration calculator to decide that. I have, I have it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to keep randomizing. Are they going to cash in? Woohoo. Yeah. Now I could take his lifetime aspiration as a sign that he wants children because he doesn't have a want to have children and neither does she. She does want a kitten though and uh, so maybe I should adopt a kitten for them. But I think I'm gonna have these two Actually, since they did this, I'm gonna have them try for baby because Nicholas wants that. Katarina, however, she wants to have 50 dream dates. So, like, I don't see her as the faithful kind. So she, like, she, she's up for whatever anyone else is up for. So I thought, like, the professor might date her, but their path hasn't crossed. So that's not what's going on. All right. Uh, to do this, we need to relax them both. Be relaxed. And Asta is gone. Good. Oh no, Nicholas missed work today. Well, I think that's a that that can happen when I play uh, like this. I guess I don't know. So he's gonna try for baby, and we're gonna know that these two tried for baby once. And if they both try, oops, if any one of them tries for baby three times and <laughs> nobody's pregnant, then <laughs> then I consider them uh, like infertile, at least some, uh, one of them, and then they will adopt. And that rule I have just stolen from Pleasant Sim. Thank you for that. <laughs> because I never adopted before. Um, but now I think I will. And these two, like she's very young, but he is kind of old. So she's 25, but he's 42. So he might be having some troubles. All right, the girls are having a blast. Um, I think Chanel wants to, she wants to buy a drum kit and a guitar. Oh dear, why do you, oh, you know, sometimes when that happens, it is, because I, I like the drum kit, I think. I will take the, oh, they have a lot of money, so she could, I'm not intersecting the wall. Like, I don't want to put it in here. <laughs> it will keep everybody up. But, um, well, maybe that's Chanel's room then. And Mindy can go sleep o over here so that she doesn't keep her sister up. Well, she, since she wanted a drum kit, I'm gonna give it to her and I'm gonna have her practice on it. Like in the middle of the night, I wonder if that will wake up the parents? Don't know. Well, we'll see. Sometimes when they want to buy things like this, it's actually because they have figured out what their hobby is. But I don't think that's her because she has creativity already. I, I think she's been playing over at the professor's house. But look how happy she is. <laughs> That's wonderful, and it's like it's very late, but she um, she has at it. All right, now she wants to be best friends with the boy that lives way over here, and he, his name is also Jacke. So okay, let's put away the leftovers before they go bad. Also, this house is. What are you doing? Why are you being like that? Why is the cat sparkling? Stop running around. Maybe Chanel just wanted a drum kit because she wanted, she likes it. I don't know. Because she already had some creativity going on and she wanted more of it. I don't know. We'll have to keep looking for that um, dance 
career for her. Well, Mindy, if you actually were hungry, then have some leftovers. Stop drinking the milk from the fridge. That not that's not you shouldn't do that. Okay, uh let's take this then. <laughs> she just put that in. <laughs> Let's take it out again. See, good cat. Good to say. Give love. No, uh, praise for not scratching the furniture. Good kitty. Uh, oh dear. Oh dear, I forgot about the puppy. Oh no, but he has food over here. But someone should really pick him up. He's so sad. Okay, that she can do it. Mindy can go do that when she has eaten. But I was thinking she she should call. I think it's too late to call now. But she could sneak out with him. I think. Yeah, let's let's have her sneak out. Just because it's fun. Not because she's bad or anything, but you know, just because it's possible. Oh, you can't reach the phone because it's uh, there and we can't pick up the phone while someone is complaining about it, of course. Does that make sense to have it there? You'll be in the way, but people can't go this way. Why do you have a door there? Ah, I'm gonna let it be. Uh, call sneak out and see if Yaki, do they have a relationship at all? Does she even know him? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, they're friends. So she wants to spend some time with him and the only way I can think of to spend time with him is to have them sneak out. So that's what she's gonna do in the pyjamas. Yeah. All right. Uh, she is. Oh right. She has a uh, love interest, but she's gonna sneak out with Yakke. Don't know if that's smart. We need a dresser. We need another dresser. Change to every day. Yeah. She she will have time to change before she has to go. Uh, if I don't change them, they they don't change. But uh, well, she she does wear the outer clothes since it's cold outside. Oh, they were really happy. Did they? Did I ever make them woohoo? I missed it. <laughs> Well, well, we'll we'll say they did. Uh, well, I keep forgetting that we can check the memories, but I don't. I think they only get memories when they do it the first time. But she has no recollection of any woohoo in Nicholas. Oh, way over there. Uh, okay, there. There is a mod out there to have them repeat and I think I should get that because I, I really like like it. Should I have them do it again? Yeah, let's try one more, more time. And casual woohoo doesn't count. Ah, don't go to the bathroom. Hey Mindy, don't go in there. You're about to sneak out. You can like, uh, oh, go pick up the dog. Pick up. All right, so Yaki will not um, pick her up until one at night. That's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, go there. Someone should pick up the trash. And then can we call? No. He's hungry. So if she puts him down at some point. Okay. Uh, yeah. Feed treat. I can feed him a treat and he won't be so hungry. There you go. Good dog. Here, have a treat. And I should... Um, same thing here. I forgot to buy a bone for the dog. Now there's so many stairs in this house. So when you have dogs and toddlers, it's really not not a handy house. Okay, so this is the second time they try for baby. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> so now we can note that. And then I'll let them go pee. Wow, Chanel, you're really... You're really playing those drums, aren't you? Well, she wants to reach body level one. How do you do that then? Oh, she she wants to be a dancer, so we can... Uh, can I put that? Oh, where should I put this? I'm running out of space in this house. I might have to move these people. This isn't handy at all. Do I need to remove the windows or is it... Must be against the wall. I don't... I know. If I move the windows, am I allowed to put it there? No, that can't be there. Oh. Goodness, this is annoying. There, why can't I have this here? Can, but I I actually like it as a nightstand, so yeah, okay. So let's have her use that instead, since she has a want for that. Oh my goodness, I thought the game was crashing. Then maybe I can get her to bed, but... Oh, <laughs> I missed it. Uh, but yeah, uh, but Mindy has sneaked out of the house, so <laughs> I miss everything. Yeah, those clothes doesn't really say ballet, do they? Well, there she goes. She wants to be a ballet dancer, so she she's practicing for it. And since there's a new day going on, phone is ringing. We can we can try and find a job for her. Well, actually, let's do that next time. Why is the phone ringing? Hello, have you been selected? You have been selected to try out our new magazine. Would you like to subscribe to the music and dance magazine? Sure. I mean, why not? Uh, go back to that. 
But I think that's a good place to end this episode. That was just like kind of a introduction of this family, you know, getting to know them a little bit, and we'll see what happens next time I play them. So uh, until next time, take care, and I'll see you then. Have a super duper time. I'll see you next time. Bye.